Chrissy and Caleb, thank you. Well, looking further into this impact of childcare on the job industry now, a study by an economist at Wells Fargo found it's a problem causing all of us to pay one way or another, not just parents. Two years after the pandemic started, you still have employment at daycare services down about 12%. The number of workers you have at daycare facilities directly corresponds to the availability of spots and the availability of care. We estimate that it's probably somewhere around 400,000 to half a million families impacted by this, by the slow return of, of workers to the daycare industry. And so that's creating problems for employers in every industry. What we see is that the labor force participation rate for women with children under the age of six is 28 percentage points lower than men with children under six. So you really do see women taking the time out of their careers to care for young children. What we're left with is a smaller labor force, and that makes it harder for employers to, to hire if they have that smaller pool of labor. When we look at fertility rates, so the exorbitant cost of daycare has been shown to decrease fertility, so you're left with smaller families, and that means slower population growth and a slower pool of workers to draw on in the future. But there is some support through tax credits, um, both general for children, but also some specific regarding care, but it's really just a fraction of the cost of tuition at, at daycare centers or even in home 